Hi everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers and I'm on board this 1984 Morgan 501 for a look around in extended virtual reality which we hope will give you an idea of what it's like to be here without actually being here. All you need to do is watch along and you can swipe around your screen or click and drag up, down, left and right and look around where you like, whenever you like and hopefully you'll feel what it's like to be here. Now this is a, a, a virtual reality video so I will move the camera around. Some people are sensitive to the camera movement, if that might be you then I'll let you know when the camera is going to be moved. You can invert your eyes and then once the camera is safely back down again you can return to the tour with me but let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's take a look around this lovely boat. We've got a huge cockpit here as you can see there's seating for several people all the way around. We've got nice upholstery and if I stand up you can see we've got loads of head height around here, probably over six feet here, going up as we go aft. Lovely great big cockpit tent that looks in good shape to me. That's giving us lots of protection in the cockpit during the rain, the wind, the snow, whichever inclement weather it may be. It's also giving us protection from the sun if we need it, though we may get nice and warm in here in the sun. So to remedy that, we've got sides that roll up. We've got the back that rolls up as well, so you've got all these different combinations. So you have a sunshade, a rain shade, whatever you like. And it looks to me like that uh, as the, uh, the main sheet track is out of the front there, you can probably sail this boat with some, if not all of this up. But you would have to be aware that you kept great visibility for watch keeping at sea, obviously. Either way, a really great space. You've got an extra room here. You've got extra storage here. You've got somewhere to hold your cockpit parties, etc. Right then, so I'm going to start at the back, so I'll just pass you and just notice how easy it is to uh, walk past you there, there's no constriction at all. Um, if we want to make the cockpit table bigger, then we can, there we go, lovely great big cockpit table so you can have your drinks and eat dinner out here if you like. Nice uh, drinks, uh, sorry, uh, uh, cup holder here. And uh, coming aft from the table, we've got the helm, lovely great big wheel, now if I sit here, I've got a great view forwards, great view port and starboard and aft even with the cockpit tent up because the windows are so large and uh, I've got somewhere to sit which is really comfy too so really a really real nice place to be and I can communicate easily with the occupants of these seats here and maybe even down to the galley there lovely um, in front of me I've got the compass there on the binnacle nice and easy to see I've got uh, the engine throttle and gearbox lever here I've got an engine stop there as well so I've got all the controls I want I've got the engine start stop down here and I think that's the autopilot under there and a couple of speakers either side so I've got great sound either side of me um, not many instruments up here though I have to say so I think most people would probably choose to enhance those these days although the tactic unit is stored inside at the moment and the others are a little bit distant from me uh, behind me I've got lots of lockers so I can sit on this part in the middle which you probably can't quite see there is a that looks like the emergency steering part for uh, connecting to the steering quadrant should the wheel fail nice big cockpit locker here plenty of room in there another locker here which opens up to reveal uh, two lovely big uh, gas bottles down there so uh, you shouldn't short, fall short of gas if I just come back around here uh, lift this cushion up you can see we have another cockpit locker there very nice indeed the, uh, and then over onto the port side, if I just move this cushion out of the way, then we can see what looks like another cockpit locker, but in fact it isn't. It sort of is, but it's actually accessed down to the engine space. So there we go. So I can climb in and out of there really easily. I know I, I, know I can because I've been in there for a look. Uh, down there we've got the engine, we've got the gearbox, we've got the stern gland. We've got the bilge, we've got lots of wiring, etc. Uh, we've got the exhaust uh, skin fitting, uh, and we've got the steering quadrant, all the pulleys and wires, etc., that are associated with that. So, really nice and easy to get to. Even at sea, uh, quite easy to access if you wanted to go down there, but you would have to be uh, careful of the steering, uh, the movement of the steering gear down there uh, at sea. But let's uh, close that for now. There we go. Put all the latches on as we do. And the same, I'll do that later on. But um, yeah, very nice, uh, very, very nice cockpit. Uh, you can see controls wise, we've got uh, three lovely great big sheet winches, very big, very powerful, self tailing as well. And uh, looking forwards, a really nice companion way. It's ever so easy to get through here, and there's lots of lovely wood on this boat. Now, I have to say, um, the interior of this boat feels absolutely lovely. Loads of lovely strong wood, loads of uh, really strong uh, catches for lockers, etc, etc. She feels really built to last. And that's uh, the same around the, uh, the companionway 
uh, area too. Uh, we've got a hatch fitted into the coach roof here, port and starboard, one down to the after cabin, one down to the uh, to the galley area there. We've got a, a halyard here, and uh, that's about it for the cockpit. But generally speaking, very nice, very bright, very open, very uh, entertaining biased, as well as very sailing biased, I would say, and really nice and easy to get down below. So let's go and take a look down below, shall we? So I'll pick the camera up and uh, take you straight down to the galley area. I'll just plonk you on the in the middle there, and I'm going to close this door to the forward accommodation because we'll be down there shortly. So there we go. How are we feeling? Well, we're feeling like it's a lovely great big space. Very high here, even higher here, so I can't even touch the ceiling. Uh, lots of windows. It's a very dark day outside today, so we're uh, feeling a bit dim in here. I don't have any lights on, but actually still nice and bright enough for me. Um, we've got the saloon area here, which we'll investigate in a moment, and we've got the galley area, which uh, starts here and uh, goes back towards the after the compartment. So let's have a look there, shall we? Right, let's pick you up first, though, and I'll position you right there. So you're a little bit uh, more in the middle of the galley there. And uh, I'm looking at you from behind the, the island unit, which has two nice deep sinks, there we go. Uh, fresh water, uh, uh, mixer tap, shower, mixing tap there, or shower head. We've got a cupboard here, we've got a drawer underneath down here. Now if you want some more workspace, which is possibly unlikely because we've got lots of workspace on this boat. Here we go, we've got some more here, and we've got uh, some more in this corner here as well. So um, even if you were, uh, we're working in the galley, if you put both of these up, that may well be something to brace against too. And talking about bracing, as we're uh, going up the companionway, we've got a uh, handhold here and here, so nice and easy. As we come down, we like, we, well we should come down backwards and use the handholds, but if we're coming down forwards, which uh, I have to because I was in the Navy and that's what we did, uh, we come down and we're holding onto here, we're holding onto here, then we can move our way. If we're, if we're in bad weather, we can shimmy along this little thing here, which we call the galley island, and we can make our way to this handle here, and then we're using these two here to make our way further forwards until we get to this point, and then we go through the doors into the forward cabin. So actually, although it's a cavernous huge space down here, always something to hang on to at sea. And if you're on a boat of this type, you're likely to be at sea crossing a big ocean, me thinks. So, around the galley, uh, let's have a look. So, companion way first. This comes away really, really nice and easily. Gives us access to the uh, to the forward end of the engine. If I can get that back up, there we go. Uh, access to the port side of the engine through the cockpit locker there on the port side that I showed you, and access to the starboard side of the engine in that cabin, which I'll show you shortly. So you're in the galley, which is kind of L shaped, but with this island here, we've got proper nice uh, flooring here. So um, different from the rest of the boat. So nice and easy to clean, keep dry, etc. Going from here, we've got uh, the main incomers, the breakers. We've got the electrical panel. We've got the fridge. Loads of work surface here, and again, quite easy to sort of uh, brace yourself in and work there if you need to. We've got a cool box uh, incorporated in, into the work surface there. In here, we've got uh, a battery charger and inverter, I think, and. Uh, Around the edges, you can see we've got stowage for plates, for whatever you like, for cups, all that kind of stuff. And uh, behind the galley here, we've got to roll the doors, which nicely rolled up to reveal lovely great big uh, cupboards behind there, and more shelving behind, culminating in the microwave and the workshop that you're sitting on. Uh, the cooker's here, nicely surrounded by uh, stainless here, which is lovely. We've got uh, three burners, uh, looks gimbal to me, and we've got a cooker underneath. Plenty there for cooking meals in this galley for lots of people, I think. Really, really nice. Very easy to talk up to the helm or the cockpit, so we can pass things really easily, and we can also pass things really easily to people sitting at the saloon table. And I also really like the fact that because this is here, you know when everybody's had their cups of tea or their cup of soups up in the, or their sandwiches on dishes up in the cockpit, and they all want to throw them down below because they want them out of the way, well guess what? <laughs> Straight into the sink. How cool is that? It's a really deep sink as well, so the stuff in there is never going anywhere. Love it. Right then, just moving forward, um, if we just uh, look over here, uh, just forwards of the camera, we've got uh, the nav station, so we've got a shelf, stereo, uh, one or two navigation instruments, and uh, underneath we've got a bit of storage here. Nice set of four drawers underneath, and a big cupboard with one, two, three shelves in there. So lots and lots and lots of storage for charts, etc. Or uh, these days probably not so much charts, but bits and pieces, but there we go. Um, very nice, and uh, facing to port, for those of you uh, that some people like to know which way the, the nav 
He's got it, thanks. So, port on this boat. Right then, let's, uh, before we go to the uh, main saloon, let's take a trip to the starboard side. So, starboard aft, here we go. Here's the, uh, the main cabin, the owner's cabin, whatever you'd like to call it. I'll just close the door for the heads for the moment. You can see, lovely, great big mirror. Very, very handy. Um, looking up, as you can see, loads of head height. We've got an opening window, an opening hatch. The, uh, the inside of the hull is uh, wood-lined, which looks lovely. Whacking great big shelf, light there as well. Uh, set into the um, starboard side here, we've got a nice big hanging cupboard, uh, more electrics in there. We've got a sort of a shoe cupboard here as well. And we also have sliding drawers under the bed. So stowage everywhere, really lovely. Uh, and access to the starboard side of the engine through that hatch there. Um, you will notice that there's a restricted headroom sort of on the, uh, uh, the, the inside aft corner there that's the uh, the the molding of the cockpit there protruding down but uh, I'm not sure many people would be lying with their head under there they may choose to be lying with their head at this end but uh, could that be up to you who knows so let's uh, let's pick the camera up again there we go and take a look in the ensuite heads there we go now very nice space Really nice space actually, I've seen lots of heads in my time and uh, this is a really, really lovely one. As you can see, it's perfectly big enough, it's cosy, but it's very high. There's loads of headroom here, we've got opening, opening hatch and window there. Windows all the way around, um, cupboard to the outboard side, manual head and a cupboard to the underneath as well. And a sink and a bit of work surface, that's all you need. Um, the beauty of this head is it's so clean, I really think uh, the owner of this boat has kept it very clean and it's uh, very nice to see and therefore it will be or should be easier to clean as well and uh, a good place to be, very nice. So let's transport you magically again, I'll close the door to the head and we'll take you into the saloon, there we go, place you by the champagne which I'm afraid isn't mine, maybe later. But you're uh, now under a slightly lower ceiling, but as you can see, still loads of head height. Um, very nice area, great comms with the galley, all the food can come this way easy, easily, and all the empty plates can go that way easily, no problem at all. Uh, we've got a sofa there, a sofa here, we've got uh, cupboards either side of a great big flat screen, we've got cupboards either side of the cupboards either side of the flat screen. Uh, a nice, uh, could, be, could, it, could this be a wine bottle holder here? And on the other side again we've got cupboards, a bit more uh, shelf storage where there isn't a telly and more cupboards as well and a shelf. So uh, lots of room, very nice area, doesn't feel squished in and uh, generally a nice place to be. Whether you're staying on this boat for a short period or whether you're staying here for a very long cruise at sea. I love it, very nice. Okay, so let's pick you up and take you through these lovely double doors. Very nice quality as well by the feel of it. Into the forward cabin and I'll just drop you there on the edge of the berth. So we have two doors going into this cabin, there we go, one port, one starboard. I feel that this is probably because in the past this was two different cabins that have been opened up, maybe a book has been taken away from here that could be reinstated, in which case you would have port cabin, starboard cabin and Jack and Jill access to the forward heads. Um, if, you, if you decided to uh, bring lots of family and friends on board, or if you're sailing with lots of people, or if you're going to charter this boat, that may well be a great idea. And on top of that, looks like we have provision for um, a large bunk above each bed, though I don't believe the fittings uh, are actually on board at the moment, but uh, really easy to make. It's a bit of wood, it's a bit of canvas, a mattress and Bob's your uncle, no problem at all. Anyway, you are sitting on the port berth here. Um, I'd say this is uh, a double, or nearly one and five-sixths of a double, perhaps. Some people would argue it's one and a half, because nice and wide here, tapers down at the bottom, but if you're, uh, if you're reasonably cosy with somebody, then you shouldn't have any problems at all. We have drawers underneath, three drawers here, um, nice cupboards above as well, lots of stowage in there, and uh, generally this bed should be nice and easy to get out of and exist in very nicely, I think. Head height comes down a little bit in here, but pretty much uh, the same as the lower head height in there so loads of room here I can't touch the sides it really is a good space and uh, there's plenty of room between the beds too. Starboard is pretty much a mirror of port although there's a little extra shelf there and the reading lights in a different place but uh, what's a reading light between friends? And if we look forwards we've got uh, two sink units his, hers or his and hers or theirs whatever uh, nice cupboards below again I'll get it open with my finger for the video. Uh, a cupboard behind as well with, uh, with storage in there. 
Cupboards absolutely everywhere on this boat and again all looks lovely and clean as does if I pick the camera up and place you through the forward head there you're nice and safe again as does the forward head again gleaming nice and clean uh, moving around the compartment we can see if I squeeze in with you it seems a bit of a, a squeeze to get in here but with both doors open actually it's not because you just go like this if the cabin was configured back to two cabins then it would be a tiny bit harder to get, get in but not hard by any means but uh, just an observation so uh, plenty of room in here if we're showering I think nice rounded radius is to clean so that's good we have a manual head here lovely big mirror so you can watch yourself having a shower which is very important obviously um, shelf shelf that the camera's sitting on um, Things like this really make this boat for me. So we've got nice, big, sturdy latches there. And uh, that's what this boat is all about. There are lots of strong things on board. And as you can see, in real rough weather, which is uh, possibly why you may not want to be in here because it's the bow, we've got something to hang on to here. So you can have a really rough shower if you want to. Um, we have a nice big cupboard here, which looks like it's uh, obscured probably by the chain locker in front, if I think rightly. But uh, nevertheless, there is storage in there. Nice, strong latch. And again, behind the camera, I don't want to knock you over, uh, there is another locker there with a little bit less storage in it, but uh, plenty of room for all your flannels, loofers and toothbrushes, etc. And here's your, sh your shower head. So, very nice compartment. Oh, not to mention as well, this little underneath the seat there, there's access to the bilge and what looks like the toilet or the head inlet fitting too. Very good. Okay, so let's pick you up. That just about completes this tour of this 1984 Morgan 501. I hope you've got a really good idea as to what this boat's all about, where things are, how she works. So she may give you inspiration for your own boat if you're fitting your own boat out for cruising or uh, if you just want to uh, really just see what it's like to be inside a lovely great big boat like this. Ha whatever you've been here for, we hope you've enjoyed it. We've loved having you along and uh, do keep an eye on our channel because we're releasing boat videos all the time in virtual reality. We think it's the best format to get a really good idea what it's like to be on board. Take care, thanks for watching, and hope we see you again soon. Bye-bye.